you're watching this video, so that means you have received your lovely little art box through the letterbox and that you're ready to start making with clay. Inside your box, you will have Fimo clay, all in one pack that we're going to be using for lots of different things. And you will have three different colours of paint. You will have a paintbrush and you will have some string and some sequins. All of these things are going to make three different projects. So from your box, you need to take your little package and just empty the sequins and the eye out onto the table. And you will need to open up your packet of FIMO. Now it's really important that when you've opened this, that the rest of it is what we call airtight. So you will need a plastic bag or some cling film would be perfect. And when you're not using the clay, you just wrap up the rest of the clay and keep it airtight. And I will show you how to do that as we go along. But first of all, open up your packet. The first thing you need to do is open up your packet of clay. And you are going to divide it into three parts. So you're just simply going to cut two lines so that you've got an even amount of clay in each of your three parts. And your adult can help you with that to start with if you need. Now, the first the first piece I'm just going to leave on the table because we're going to use that and then the rest I'm just going to leave for the other two projects and I'm going to just pop it inside some cling film that I have rolled out at the side here because I want to make sure that my clay is airtight and that no air is going to get into this package while I'm waiting um, and doing my other projects. So I've got my lump of clay and this is going to make my clay fish. I've got a little pot of water just to the side so I'll leave that there for you to see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a tiny bit by dipping my, the tips of my fingers onto the clay if it's dried out a little bit. We're not soaking it, we're just simply moistening it and it's going to make it a little bit easier for me to now start making the shape of a fish. And so you can see what I'm doing here is I'm starting to mold it into the shape of a fish. I'm gonna push my fingers in the middle there. I'm gonna push my, my um, middle finger to create some, the, the sort of the tail shape. And then I'm simply pushing down onto the table to try and create a fish shape. Now, I don't want it to get stuck on the table. So I'm gonna sort of pick it up and I'm gonna soften it with a little bit more water and I'm gonna try and make my fish shape without it getting too stuck down onto the table. I'm gonna push my finger to make a little mouth shape at the top part of my fish. So this is my head on this side. And then I've got my tail part over here. Now, once you're happy with your fish shape, 
you can simply press in your googly eye and then you can start to add in all of your sequins and what we will be doing is painting around the outside edge so I'm going to leave my outside edge and I'm simply going to start placing my sequins all around your sequined fish and you're going to leave him to dry now or her it will take about a day or maybe a little longer for your air drying clay to dry out so you can leave him or her to one side and then you might want to paint the outside edge of your fish when they are dry and you can use the paint that is in the box to do so And so you can see here what I've done is I've used the paints to go around the outside edge, which I think looks really nice. So you could try that if you like as well. And that is your sequin fish all finished. The second activity is going to be your three pinch bowls. And I made a few earlier. They're not dry yet, but they look a little bit like this. Uh, three tiny little bowls made from clay. So now open back up your clay. We're going to have a go at doing your three pinch bowls. So I'm going to take out the middle part of my clay here, lay it on the table and wrap the rest of the clay up in my cling film so that it stays airtight and leave that to one side. Now, because we're going to be making three pinch bowls, what I'm going to do is divide my clay into three parts. So this particular piece, I'm just simply going to use my blunt knife and cut it into two, just like that. And I'm going to choose one and I'm going to start making a pinch bowl. And the way we do this is by just rolling your clay in your hands from side to side to side into the shape of a ball and when you've got your your ball shape you can press your thumb in the middle and then you take your thumbs and your fingers and you start pinching around the edge of your little ball shape and what you will see is as you do that very gently it's starting to make the shape of a little bowl. I'm just going to put it down onto the table so you can see. I'm just pressing my thumb down into the middle part of the bowl. You can use the tips of your fingers in your water, not too much water, but just enough to soften the edges. We don't want it to get all sloppy and messy. And when you're happy with that, then you can leave that to one side and have another go at another bowl. So now I'm going to take my other piece of clay that was left. I'm going to do the same thing. And because we're making three bowls, we're going to repeat this. You can make them slightly different sizes and you can do more or less pinching to make them different shapes. So my thumb gets pinched into the middle and then I'm using the tips of my fingers and my thumbs I'm twisting the ball shape round and I'm creating a little bowl. And this is, it's a bit like this, like a little crab making pincers. And that's what you're doing as you twist it. You're pinching your bowl round. Use the tips of your fingers to add in a little bit of water. And then you're going to have a go at doing your very last bowl. And that you're going to need to get out. Your last little bit of clay is going to come out of the package now. Half of this is going to be used for your medallion in a moment. And the other half, just by using your little 
blunt knife is going to be used for your very last pinch bowl, which I'm rolling round into a ball. And I'm pinching my thumb in the middle and then my pincers all the way round like I have done with my other two. So this is the third bowl in my collection now. Should be getting good at this. If it goes really horribly wrong, the brilliant thing about using clay is you can simply scrunch it up into a ball and just start it again. There we go, and there are my three pinch bowls. And you're going to leave these to dry for a day at least until they are hardened and when they are really perfectly hard, you will be able to paint them any colour you like using the paints that were in the box provided. And the very last activity, once you've made your fish and your three bowls, is going to be a medallion or necklace, however you'd like to call it. And we've got strings hanging around your neck and you will be creating an imprint into it. So let's get started. Your last activity is going to be your medallion or necklace and you can choose what shape you would like to do it. If you would like to do it a round shape then you will need to use your blunt knife to cut the shape of a circle into your clay. If you would like to do it um, a square shape, a little bit like the one that I have here, then you can just use your, your blunt knife to cut that shape. I'm going to show you a circle because I would like to do mine as a circle. And so I'm just simply cutting the shape of a circle. It's not going to be perfect into my clay. I'm cutting all around it and then I'm simply going to peel away the clay that I don't need. And so once I lift it off the table, you can see it's a bit rough around the edges, so I'm just gonna take a bit of water on my fingertips and smoothen it out. And then I can pop it back onto the table, just like so. I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush that was in the box, and this is really important, and I'm gonna put a hole all the way through it because that is where my string is going to go so that I can wear it. So a tiny little hole through there double check that it doesn't close up and then the next thing I need to think about is what do I want to put onto my necklace now this is where you can have a little think or a look around the house and see is there anything that you would like to put onto the front of it you could use something like I've got a fridge magnet and I think I am going to press my fridge magnet into the surface for the shape of an A you could use something like a coin you could use um, for example if you're a uh, parent has a brooch or something interesting. This was a fish brooch that I've just pressed into the surface of the clay. But I'm going to show you with my fridge magnet that I'm just pushing down into the surface. And so what I've been left with is the imprint of um, the letter A. And I'm going to leave that now to dry. And then I'm going to paint it when that is dry in um, a day or two then I will paint that and I might decide that I'm going to paint the A1 colour and then I'm going to paint the outside a different colour completely. So you've made all three of your activities. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And working with clay is so fun. It's a bit messy. So I hope that you've kept your, um, your house nice and tidy and that you've done your cleaning up afterwards. That's really important. You guys make sure that you clean the table down and keep everything really nice and tidy um, for your adults at home. If you guys have had fun, we have got some other boxes on our website. So you can head to www.alovelylittleartroom.com where you can buy other boxes that have completely different activities. So that's what you're interested in. 
I would love to see what you've created. So if your adults at home are on Instagram or Facebook, please tag us because, because seeing what you guys have made makes everything so worthwhile and makes me super happy. So I'm gonna say bye and I hope to see you guys again soon. See you later and well done little artists.